Hi everyone, um, had such a great response from everybody on Facebook and Instagram about our Project IndyCar video. We thought we'd keep them coming and um, do some more and take you guys behind the scenes of what it takes to keep this car on the track and all the preparation work we do to um, get it to an event. So one of the um, things I forgot to tell you guys last time was we actually had some brake bias issue on the track as well. So when I was making some brake bias adjustments, um, it wasn't um, changing the bias uh, at all, so it's locking up um, rear brakes quite a bit out on track. So if I take, turn the camera around, behind the steering wheel here, there's a little adjuster here that um, obviously to the rear brake bias, turn it, and then the other way for the front bias, and it wasn't making any um, difference. So we found that um, was that it was actually getting stuck on the, the um, clutch cylinder and it wasn't making adjustments so the cable was actually getting quite um, bound up or wound up um, down in the footwell which obviously you can't see but we took some earlier videos we were able to fix that by moving the cable from one side to the other and um, which made the adjustment the opposite way around so we had to rewrite which way was to the rear and which way to the front. So if basically, if you don't know what brake bias does, it changes the percentage of um, brake pressure from um, the front to the rear. So when you're braking in an open wheel car, you always want to sort of have a bit more front um, brake pressure than um, rear brake pressure because you can't actually um, lock the brakes on the initial um, push of the pedal so what I've done here if you can see brought up the front and rear brake pressures on the laptop and you can sort of see uh, the front brake pressure is in red and the rear is in black so when I make the um, pedal application you see it's 50 50 now uh, I push a bit more but it's roughly about 50 50 so what we want to do is make sure going back to the um, yeah, yeah. going back to the um, brake bias adjuster we'll go more to the front two three, four turns and then you get more of a front um, brake pressure percentage which is what we want because as I said in a uh, actually it's in a um, open wheel uh, slash wings and slicks car you can't lock the um, brakes up on the first first pedal application because it's got so much downforce when you're doing two or three hundred kilometers per hour so what I do between races too is um, sit myself in the car and um, just practice brake pressure so just keep applying until I get that thousand psi um, each time. I try to do that at least ten times, and sort of treat it like a um, gym session, which I only got to nine hundred then, um, to get some muscle memory in my legs and um, and um, yeah, get ready for the the meeting. It's a good way to. To sort of stay sharp and um, make sure that my pedal pressure is up to where I want it to be. So, um, yeah. So I'll keep um, practicing and um, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.